Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty Sheree and on this channel, we'll be discussing all things finances with an emphasis on budgeting, saving, and paying off debt. So today I am doing my June paycheck number three. Um, this was my magic month, so I did have a third paycheck. Most of my bills and expenses were paid with my first two checks, and this third check was um, going to be the check that was going to help me finish paying off my Chase card, but we will talk about that later. So I've already been paid. Today is Sunday. I got paid on Friday, but I was able to make the video today, and I was also able to stuff my envelopes today as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So my income for this check was a little lower. It was $1,128. As I've said before, I work a Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. Um, I don't get any overtime, um, but they did allow us to go home early. And one day I did, so my check is a little smaller than it normally would be. But for this check, I didn't have a lot of bills to pay, as you can see. Um, I didn't have a lot of bills at all. Um, the main thing in June I was trying to focus on was paying off my Chase card. Um, so on here, there's not a lot of bills, just a few expenses. So this is going to be a really small, short budget. So for rent, um, I am going to add 360 and this is for July rent, so mine is three sixty. Um, Chase. So in my last video, I talked about Chase and how this was the credit card that I was going to pay off in June. So for the three checks that I got in June, I was supposed to pay about three fifty to four hundred dollars, which I did. Um, this check will have four hundred dollars coming out, but unfortunately. It will not be paid off completely. Um, I still owe about $75 um, left on that card, which I will pay completely with my first check in July. So I am paying $400, and that's coming directly out of my account tomorrow on Monday. Um, my electric, I am going to pay just $25. It's pretty much paid up, but I like to put money in the envelope for electric just in case it um goes higher because we do run our air conditioner i can't not run air it's been so hot i'm in i'm up north and it's still very hot up here so um we're not turning our air off so i just put a little extra in that envelope for when our bill does come out so i'm just subtract that Next, I have gas. Um, I'm going to keep that at $80. Um, my kids are out of school, so right now I'm not doing too much driving. Um, my son, who's a teenager, is keeping me busy. He's doing all the pre-sports before he goes to high school this summer, so he has a lot of practices, a lot of workouts. So he still has me playing taxi. Um, my daughter's in a summer program, which family picks her up and drops her off for me. So $80 should be fine. I also have groceries. I'm going to leave that at $100. Um, my husband is mostly doing groceries for this week, but I'm still going to stuff my $100 just for extra. Um, again, we have a teenage son and he is out of school and he is playing sports. So he's snacking, he's eating, he's drinking. He's doing all of the things that's taking up all the food. So I'm still going to stuff that $100, even though this week my husband is paying for groceries. Um, so that leaves me with $163 for my envelope. Not much at all. Not much at all. So for my envelopes, the main thing that I'm focusing on, um, I've said before, I am in a wedding, my brother-in-law's wedding this August. Um, I'm in the wedding, my husband's in the wedding, my daughter's in the wedding, and my son is sort of in the wedding. So um, I'm buying things for us, 
uh, well, me and my husband were buying the things for us to be in the wedding. And I'm also helping with the bridal shower. So I'm putting money in there. I have an envelope for her wedding and I am adding $50 to that. This um, month in July, I plan to get my daughter's dress, her shoes, my shoes, and figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. Next, I have my phone. I recently switched over to T-Mobile and that will come out, that came out on the 1st, um, but it'll actually come out Monday. So I already have the money for that, but I'm going to stuff my envelope with $25 to go towards my August bill. And so far I'm loving T-Mobile. I switched over from Mint Mobile and Mint Mobile was really good, but if you stream a lot, you'll use the data really fast. Um, next is swim. My daughter takes swim lessons, so I we pay how much? It is one twelve a month, and it's due at the beginning of the month, so it's already paid for for July. I mean, for yes, for July, but I'm gonna stuff it, start stuffing it now for August. So I'm just gonna add another twenty five dollars there. Uh, diapers, my daughter, my youngest, she already has diapers and she already has diapers at daycare. So I'm just going to add $10 to her diaper envelope. Let's see. Did I already subtract the 10? Oh, I got to go back, y'all. Minus 50, minus 25, minus 25, minus 10. Okay, so I got $53 left. I have family fun, which uh, I'm just going to add 20. We already have about $70 in there. I'm going to add another $20 in there. We don't have anything coming up. Family fun envelope is more of like if me and the kids, when they want to go to the trampoline park, they want to get ice cream, if they want to go somewhere. That's more of what that money is for. Um, next, I have kids. Um, this is their individual envelopes. So I am going to put $30 in there. And that would just be $10 per kid in their envelope. I got $3 left. And I have a $1 envelope, which is where I put all my $1 bills that are left over. Um, so I'll just add that $3 in there. At the end of the month, I count up all the $1 bills, and then I decide if I want to spend it on me, if I want to put it towards debt, if I want to add it to another envelope. It's just another fun way to save those dollar, those dollar bills. So this is it for my June paycheck number three. This was a magic month for me. It went fast, um, although I didn't hit my goal of paying off my Chase card. I am very proud of myself for paying three to four hundred dollars a check towards that to get the balance down to the last seventy-five dollars. Um, I will be paying off that seventy-five dollars my first check in July, and after that, I will sit down and organize and see where do I want to be placing that four hundred dollars elsewhere in my budget. I do still have a credit card, um, so I could put it towards another credit card. It's no interest right now, or I might be putting it towards my envelopes or my sinking funds. So I will talk about that in my next video once I get my thoughts together and decide what I want to do. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's very short, very small budget for this check. But thank you guys for coming back and watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. Um, I am new at budgeting. I'm just trying to stay consistent and stick to my budget at the end of the month. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.